Hey guys, welcome back to Legendary. I know it's been a while since my last video, but I'm back to action. I visited South Korea end of March this year, and in today's video, I'll show you a couple of cool things that you can do in Seoul. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you also would like to visit Korea. Remember, before traveling to Korea, do look up the requirements to enter quarantine free on the official website. This includes your vaccination cert, pre-departure and on arrival test, as well as a visa if required. I'll copy some useful links in the video description below. Without further ado, let's get right into activity number uno. Let's start with the Gyeongbokgung Palace, a classic tourist attraction which will ensure awesome memories and photos. In the morning, go to one of the many Hanbok rental shops, in which you can transform into a traditional looking king or queen outfit to set the right mood for this attraction. Fun fact, if you go dressed up to the palace, you do not need to buy a ticket. You get in for free. Ticket prices for adults are about 3,000 Korean won, which is about two and a half US dollar, but remember, every penny counts. The Gyeongbokgung Palace was the main royal palace in the Joseon Dynasty, built in 1395 and served as the home of the kings of the Joseon Dynasty and the government. Stroll around, enjoy the architecture. If you want to know more about it, there's also a two-hour English guided tour inside the palace. Make sure to check out the exact starting times. Moving on, another cool area in Seoul is the Bukchon Hano village, where you will find hundreds of traditional Korean houses called Hano. Definitely Instagrammable and worth a visit. At the beginning of the village, we passed by a shop where you could actually get your fortune depending on your zodiac sign. I'm a rooster, I got this letter in Korean. I hope it only says good things. Next up is the famous Namsan Tower, also called N Seoul Tower, which provides TV and radio broadcasting in Seoul. It is located on the Namsan Mountain, therefore the name. Going up to the mountain is a very enjoyable hike, with amazing views over the city as a reward. The tower is beautifully surrounded by lots of green, and we saw bridges with a lot of those love locks. So, to all of you cute couples out there who appreciate each other and want to lock in your relationship for infinity, bring your love lock up to Namsan Tower. As a sporty activity, I recommend to go to the Oido Hangang Park and cycle along the Han River. <laughs> no? I know, I know. On top of that, plan some additional time for a nice picnic in front of the river. That seems to be a very popular dating activity among the young locals. Karaoke! 
What would be Korea without karaoke? If you don't know what kind of souvenir to get, check out the Nike flagship store in Myeongdong, which offers customizing your own clothes on the spot. Our friends brought us here and we got ourselves some super awesome t-shirts. Choose your designs, put them on the t-shirt, they will press it in the shop for you and you will get it immediately. What is this? It's like Nike. <laughs> Korean. Oh. Seoul is huge, so obviously you can do a lot, lot more if you have a lot of time on your hand. For example, check out Itaewon. You can go out partying and drinking for one, two nights for sure. Lots of bars and clubs, and I'm sure it will become livelier and livelier with all the COVID restrictions easing up. Check out the flagship Friends store. In Gangnam. In Korea, the people use Kakao Talk, which is basically the equivalent to WeChat in China or Line in Japan, or for the rest of the world, an extended WhatsApp. If you have the time, stroll around Gangnam, take some cool picture with the hands of Gangnam style, and check out this awesome library. One of the most important things for me personally on every trip is to try the local food. There's tons of good local food in Korea, ranging from the street food in Kwanja Market to amazing beef tartar, high quality Hanwook beef, Korean barbecue, as well as Michelin style restaurants. If you want to know what food to try in Korea, check out my next video. It will be coming soon. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.